Um, I'm, I have a cheat sheet, hold on. How you doing everybody? My name is Kinesis. Let's talk about sex. Now before any of you get any ideas, comment section, I'm looking at you. We're not gonna be talking about my sex life, ma mainly because I just don't have one. Like at all. So none of you be getting any ideas. Comments! Comments! I'm watching you! Comments! So the thing about sex nowadays is that there's always been this issue about it. Everyone makes such a big deal about, uh, you know, whether or not if a guy sleeps with a bunch of girls, it's a big deal and he's awesome. Or if a girl sleeps with a bunch of guys or a bunch of girls, you know, your preference is your preference. Your lifestyle is your lifestyle. If a girl does it, the stigma is that she's a slut and should be shamed for doing such things. The weird thing about it is, like, people think that this is some new concept of people sleeping around and stuff. It really isn't. Like, if you go back to the colonial era, I'm talking like 1700s, there's journals that I've read for just for history projects. There's a man who owned, I think, at least three plantations, hundreds of slaves. Oh my god, you want to talk about this guy's sex life? <sighs> man. And they used weird words for it, too. Like, he, he, he described it as rogering. He says, I took her into my carriage and I rogered her three times. And I'm just sitting here reading this. Oh my god, he was f***ing these bitches! Like, it was the weirdest revelation to me. But it makes so much sense. I mean, this kind of thing has been going on for thousands of years. The whole reason that this is a problem today is because people don't stop talking about it. I don't care what you do in the bedtime hours. That's your business. It's private. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to listen to music about it. I mean, some of the music about it is pretty good. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, half of hip hop, hip hop is about, you know, the passion of such things. I just don't care. I don't want to see your Facebook posts about it. I don't want you to tell me about it. I don't care. I'm not going to tell you about my non-existent sex life. I don't want to hear about yours because it's probably fake anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, I just, I just got back from work and this is what I sleep in, so don't judge me. Comments. I'm looking at you. The deal with all of this is people talk too much about how uh, it's some kind of conquest, or it's some kind of shady thing that you can't do. Why is it your business what other people do in their private time? Yes, we don't want every child that we have running around just f***ing anything that moves. I mean, of course, nobody wants that. That's, that's messed up in its own right, first of all. <laughs> but I understand the whole stigma about wanting people to not be promiscuous. But I think you're really missing the actual problem. It's not in the fact that people are doing stuff with their own bodies. I mean, frankly, it's their body. They can do what they want with it. If it's your kid and they're underage, that's a whole set of issues that could lead to them ruining their entire life. But that doesn't have to do with them having sex. That just has to do with them being super irresponsible and stupid. What I'm talking about is, like, fully grown consensual adults just talking about what they do in the bedtime hours. It's a topic of conversation regardless. The real problem is that people don't stop talking about it. And it's everywhere. It's in media. It's in advertising. It's my chair's moving. It's in media. It's in advertising. Just stop talking about it. But the thing that goes along with that is that people too much put too much value in it. Yes, it's a part of, of an adult relationship in some way, somehow, Sex is going to be a part of an adult relationship, whether it's not having sex or they are having sex. It's going to be a factor at some point, but it's not the most important thing. You know, a lot of guys, when they're trying to hit on a girl or like try to advertise for themselves, hey girl, I'll keep you up all night long. And then there's me, hey girl, when you're on your period, I'll rub your belly and buy you chocolate. The fact is that you shouldn't care so much about it. Because one, it's not your business what other people do, and what you do is your business. It's nobody else's business, it's yours. It's between you and your significant other. And that's really the point I'm trying to make here. It's not the most important thing. Stop making it so important, because that's how you give it power. So all that being said, um, I had a point to this video. Update time. If you haven't noticed, I'm doing Wednesday videos now, you know, just just because I have the time to actually record them and, and upload them, so uh, I hope you guys are enjoying that. Uh, I'm trying to be a little more regular about my videos. I know the past week I've been a little woo about it, but um, 
Couple of updates uh, along with, you know, fact I'm doing Wednesday videos. Um, come this fall, I might be slowing down a bit on the videos, but I promise that's only temporary just because I have, uh, I'm, I've got two jobs and I have school and so I'm trying to, you know, keep my priorities straight, but I do appreciate all of you that actually watch my videos, you know, all four of you, <laughs> and um, I really do appreciate just getting a like. If you if you really enjoy my videos, I want you to not just look at it and smile. I want I I, I really appreciate if you if you shared it, if you put it out there, because what I really want is to brighten other people's days, and you can help me doing that by spreading me around. That kind of fit into my previous topic. I am, against my better judgment, I am working on some covers of songs that I really like. Um, they're going to be mostly piano, but I've got a keyboard that one of my roommates has that he's letting me borrow and you know, I'm just kind of messing around with that, but it's not, it's, it's nothing special, but I just I'm trying to put myself out there in, in as many ways as possible. So thank you all so much for watching. I know this video was kind of higgledy-piggledy all over the place, and my state of attire is a little higgledy-piggledy all over the place. Higgledy-piggledy. Oh, that's such a fun word. Higgledy-piggledy. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe and share. And I cannot wait to see you on the next adventure. And as always, onward to glory!